All right, let's begin by running this web service on what's known as the debug server. So selecting the Academic Rio target, make note of its IP address. Select the onboard web service. Also draw your attention to the web resources. And these are VIs that are known as method VIs. Each one of these does the actual task of the web service. And each one of these is associated with a particular endpoint URL. So I'll right click on the onboard web service and choose start. You'll notice that it opens up the method VIs, compiles and deploys these on the target. and then tells us that the web service is now running on the debug server and you can connect at this particular port, 8001. Notice the characteristic shape of the run button. It says the sub VI is waiting to run. It's not running exactly, but it's also not editable either. All right, let's select index.html and then choose show public URL. And as we study this, it says we're uh, looking at the debug server. This is the IP address of Academic Rio, colon, and then port number, 8001, slash onboard. That's the web service that we recognize from the project. And then this is a particular file, index.html, that's being served. Let's copy that and try opening that in the Internet Explorer web browser. So this page is being served up from the project right there. As you hover your cursor over the link, take a look at the little preview down here. Again, we recognize the Academic Rio IP address, the debug server port 8001, the web service on board, and then the method VI system date. Let's go ahead and click that and see what happens. If you click it, the method VI runs and then returns the system date of Academic Rio. Let's look at that particular VI. Control E opens up the block diagram. The VI begins execution by picking up the web service request, determining the system date and time, in particular the date string, setting the response type to plain text, and then writing out the response. That's what actually returns the web page body that we see there. System time is similar. It has its own method VI. And then finally, system date and time. Again, it has its own method VI. Let's take a look at system, date, time, and LEDs. This gives you an example of how you can send information to the web service to cause something to happen on Academic Rio. In this case, you can provide an LED hex code, a value between 0 and 9, and then A to F, that is interpreted as the 4-bit pattern for the four onboard LEDs. So for example, as you watch the onboard LEDs, you should see that LED zero is on right now. Now LED three is on. And then finally, all four LEDs are on. Now that we've been running the web service on the debug server, and this is great for testing purposes, but eventually you want to make it permanently available. And for this purpose, we need to publish the web service. I'm stopping the debug server. And again, sometimes there, this might take a little bit longer than what I'm showing on the video. And let's try this as an example, taking a look at the URL again. Again, 8001 is the debug server. 8080 is the application web server. Okay, so it simply changes the port number, but everything else is the same. Let's go ahead and try out that URL. And it thinks for a bit and says, can't find that web page. That's because the web service has not actually been published yet. So here's how we do it. 
right click on the web service, choose application web server, and then publish. Now sometimes depending on uh, how things have worked out you might run into little difficulties here. This is why I, I wanted to show you some options for that. One possibility might be to simply try it again. Uh, other possibilities might be trying to reconnect to the academic real product. You can also power cycle the product if all else fails. Perhaps try reconnecting again. And let's try publishing one more time. Again, speeding things up here just a little bit for you. Now, you will, if you've got the option that says close on successful completion enabled, then this, this last message will fly by really quickly. So you don't get a, a persistent pop-up dialog telling you that it worked, but let's give it a try. I think it's going to work. All right, looks good. Uh, again, the nice thing about a published web service is that it is always available, even after you power cycle the product. All right, draw your attention to this method VI located in the JSON folder. We'll grab the method URL. Again, we want to do this on the application web server. And then come up here to the PC. And this VI that runs on the PC will invoke the web service running on Academic Rio. Simply run it. It sends out the complete URL endpoint string and then shows you the returned web page body, which is a JSON string. The JSON string has been parsed to pull out things like the onboard accelerometer values, the server name, server time and date, and so on. And you can also use the question mark LED hex code equals something added to the query string in order to set the values on the academic Rio. Another uh, sensor that's available is the onboard button. You could try pressing and holding that button and rerunning the VI so that sensor state is sent back. And then here I'm uh, adjusting the orientation of the academic Rio, confirming that the accelerometer values do in fact change.